Happiness is a very controversial and philosophical topic, and it is impossible to find a single prescription that works for everyone. Happiness has always been one of the most important issues throughout human history, and the Stoics tried to reveal how a happy life could be possible. In this article, we will talk about the principles of life that the Stoics, who said the main purpose of man is happiness, recommended to create happiness in our lives, to feel happy and not to feel unhappy. When we say not to feel unhappy, it should be noted that they do not advocate a belief that we should never be unhappy, that unhappiness is bad, that all of life should be full of happiness. I just want to emphasize that we should prevent ourselves from making ourselves unhappy for the wrong reason, out of the blue, in the wrong way. Stoicism is a philosophical movement that emerged 2300 years ago and remains widespread and accepted today. People who have adopted the views of this movement are called Stoics, while the lifestyle they prefer is called Stoic life. The most important names of Stoic philosophy are Zenon of Cyprus, Zeno of Tarsus, Panetius, Poseidonios, Cicero, Seneca, Marcus Aurelius, and Epictetus. It would be appropriate to start with the question of what makes us unhappy before moving on to the principles proposed for a happy life by these thinkers who have made important contributions to both this philosophical movement and the world with their works. Separations, losses, financial difficulties, health problems, failures, need for approval, inability to say no, boundary problems, sense of control, anxieties, comparisons, perfectionism, loneliness, etc. The list goes on and on. Why do these issues make us unhappy? And do these issues make everyone unhappy in the same way? Aim to change the way you look at the world and your ideas, not events or the world order. Albert Ellis, the theorist of the rational emotive behavioral therapy approach, says, It is not the things themselves that upset us, but our thoughts about them. Shakespeare said that, There is no such thing as good or bad, it is the thinking that makes it so. The Stoic Marcus Aurelius said, Life never changes, but your thoughts can change. If you want life to change, you must change your thoughts. All three approaches advise us to take control of our emotions and thoughts and, as a result, to evaluate events in a healthy way without becoming unhappy or upsetting ourselves. So, how can we do this? Accept. People and life as they are and learn to enjoy them. Epictetus said, There is only one way to happiness, and that is to stop worrying about things beyond our will. The first rule is control. In other words, we are advised here to divide the issues in our lives into two. They suggest taking precautions and thinking correctly and healthily about the things we can control and to stop worrying from the very beginning about the things we cannot control. The things we can control are our thoughts, passions, goals, and avoidance. What we don't control are things like our body, our job, our reputation, our possessions. What we are in control of is what we are free from and what we are not free from is what we are not free from. Stoicism advises us not to worry unnecessarily about what we are not free from. So a good start would be to first think about and write down the things that make us unhappy, and then think again about which ones you have control over and which ones you don't. And then listen to Epictetus's suggestion and relax over a nice cup of coffee. Accept people and life as they are and learn to enjoy them. Epictetus said, There is only one way to happiness, and that is to stop worrying about things beyond our will. The first rule is control. In other words, we are advised here to divide the issues in our lives into two. They suggest taking precautions and thinking correctly and healthily about the things we can control, and to stop worrying from the very beginning about the things we cannot control. The things we can control are our thoughts, passions, goals, and avoidance. What we don't control are things like our body, our job, our reputation, our possessions. What we are in control of is what we are free from, and what we are not free from is what we are not free from. Stoicism advises us not to worry unnecessarily about what we are not free from, so a good start would be to first think about and write down the things that make us unhappy, 
and then think again about which ones you have control over and which ones you don't. And then listen to Epictetus' suggestion and relax over a nice cup of coffee. Be patient with the ignorant and those who make rash decisions. No one can advise you better than yourself, says the Stoic statesman Cicero. Psychotherapist Irvin Yalom, known for his world-famous psychotherapy stories, asks, why does every human being give less importance to his own opinion than to that of other people when he loves himself more than other people? So, if our first rule is control, it can be said that our second rule is that we should give more importance to our own opinions, that we should give up the need for approval. Always be eager to learn new things and approach things only with your logic. Stoicism argues that virtue is the only thing we need for a happy life. And virtue is explained in terms of four important values. Wisdom, temperance, justice, and courage. Wisdom, being aware of life and its difficulties, always eager to learn in order to overcome them, and always displaying a wise attitude towards life. Temperance, remaining healthy and calm in the face of events, avoiding exaggerated reactions. Justice, basing life on truthfulness and fairness. To act justly in every situation and towards everyone. Courage, showing philosophical courage in the face of life. The only thing we need for a happy life is virtue and it is within us. In Stoicism, which argues that the main goal of human beings is happiness, it is emphasized that, in order to achieve happiness, one must live in accordance with nature. It is stated that we can achieve happiness by being wise, just, without being a prisoner of passions, and by integrating with nature and aiming to be a citizen of the world. While emphasizing that it is more appropriate to try to change our own judgments instead of being interested in the world order, the principle of, do not desire everything to be the way you want it to be, on the contrary, desire everything to be the way it is so that your life will be peaceful, is recommended. Don't rush into anything. Always keep your composure to summarize. For a happy life, take control of your life. Try to stop generating anxiety and fear about things you have no control over. Focus on your inner peace. Think again about the value of the moment and what you have. Do not burden yourself with the mistakes and regrets of the past. Forgive both yourself and others. Look for ways to be liberated by trying to discover new ranges. Dear friends, don't forget to like and comment if you like the video. Stay with Stoicism.